If you look through the feed on your social media, you will see that people are addicted to the struggle. Literally, there's crap on there of people complaining and bitching and moaning about life. And there's way more of that than there is the good stuff. All the articles people sharing, all of the uproar about things that are going on. Naturally, people just seem to be addicted to the struggle. Now, this is scientifically proven. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Dr. Joe Dispenza, and he talks about the chemicals and the hormones that are released in our brain when we are in struggle mode. We get addicted to it. Now, yesterday on the Lady Balls call, somebody raised the question that we get addicted to the hype and euphoria. Absolutely do, but we get addicted to both. So what I kind of see it is, is there's a neutral line. If you know Dr. Martini's work, he talks about the positive and the negative until you get to a neutral zone. In my life, I think about that neutral zone and anything that is on or above it is going to release the happy, good juices into your brain, the hormones and the chemicals in your body that make you happy. So we don't have to be playing at this euphoric, blow your face off, amazingness space all of the time. And we don't have to be uh, sit there and think about the struggle. We can just sit there in a beautiful, nice place that's really content. So an example of that is last week I was camping with my man and my kids and we we're out there as a family and it was just really calm. Now camping and being in touch with nature is good for anybody to get grounded, but camping's really his thing. I'm not about high heels and fancy handbags, but camping's his thing, not mine. But I was so content and so happy. I wasn't blow your face off. Oh my God, this is amazing. Things like that are usually for me around business or making big breakthroughs or helping somebody. But I was sitting there in this pure, beautiful, content space because I was just satisfied and happy and just had my family together. And it was above that neutral line for me. So those happy hormones were happening in my body. It didn't have to be euphoric. It definitely wasn't struggle. It was just nice. And so what I want you to get clear on is what is it for you that gets you above that line? Even if it's not the blow your face off excitement, what are the things that just keep you happy and satisfied and still releasing those good juices into your body? We are addicted to the euphoria and we are addicted to the struggle. So let's get into the habit of waking up every day and when we're grateful for the things and we appreciate the things that are going on in our life right now and still get excited about the things that we want in the future, what are those things for you and what actions can you take every day, journaling, whatever it may be, to get into that vibration that's above the line.